Good morning, everybody. How are we all doing? It's nice to see the light peeking through this early in the morning, let me tell you. Oh, baby, I have been feeling some type of way. I feel like this has become like a kind of recurring theme here on my channel. It's like, pump up feeling really good. We travel a bunch, and then it's like, oh, well, let me pick myself back up. <laughs> so this morning, let's you and I pick ourselves back up, shall we? Need to get back to 100 today. Starting with a new little pre-workout flavor. Uh, this is mouth-watering melon. Delicious. Mixed with my creatine, that is necessary this morning. And I basically just need to recommit. I need to recommit to my goals. But really, I have been ebbing and flowing so, so much in my routine that it's basically just not even a routine anymore. It's like one week I am doing something and the next week I am not and totally off of it. And outside of absolutely anything else, whenever I kind of fall off my routine, I just don't feel good. My skin looks bad, my sleep is bad. I'm farting everywhere. <laughs> and that just pulls into every area of your life. And I just don't like it. I don't like the feeling. I know I can do better. I know I can be better and I know I can feel better. And the first step into getting there is to do my workout. <laughs> Wake up and do my workout. And it has been a minute since we've worked out together in the garage. So let's do that. Even though it is filthy and I don't want to hear it, I need to clean it. And that's not happening today. We are embracing it for what it is today. Heaters on. So first up, I've got band assisted pull-ups. Could it just be pull up someday? Yes, that's the goal, that's the goal. But we're just not there yet, and until we are, I've got the little band, I just keep it here, I've got my little step up. And I do as many of these as I can, which, it just hurts my hand. It's usually like my palms that go first, honestly. And at this exact moment in time, I don't know where I've put my gloves. So, it is what it is. Well, that was eight. I'll probably leave it at that. <laughs> Coach Don says, as long as it takes to get 30 clean reps. Don with all my love and my soul. It's not happening. Not today, not today. I also have to say, working out without music is some kind of different evil beast. With my shoulder presses, I'm starting with 22.5, which is a lighter weight for me, but I've been doing these for like a year and a half straight and I can't get past 27.5 and I fully think that I could like there's no reason why I wouldn't be able to press it above me It's getting it up getting the 30 up my left side just Refuses it can't do it. It can't lift it It's just a number that I have not been able to get past and every time I see Whitney Simmons shoulder press a 40 pound I'm like dreams goals incredible. So my goal is to just train that a lot more so I can get those numbers up up a little bit more <laughs> Anywho's and I have those shoulder presses supersetted with a little seated lateral raise. And then I do three sets of that. 27.5, man. Kills me. <laughs> well, that was fun. And next up, I've got a little beastie beast superset on the cable machine here. Supersetting wide grip lat pull downs with a little high cable row. <sighs> Ouch. I keep telling myself that surely if I can master the lat pull down, I can master a pull up. <laughs> but this is another move that I've actually never done consistently enough that I've been able to increase the weight beyond what I've been doing. The most I've done is 90. And your girl weighs a lot more than that, so I'm gonna have to do a lot more to get myself up on that bar. <laughs> So the final two moves that I have for this little upper body day are machine rear delt flies, which I'm just, I'm just gonna skip. I mean, to be honest, I'm gonna skip because I don't have a machine here. And for me, I feel like when I do the seated ones, it's just not the same. I'm gonna do my little hammer raises, which are one of my favorite moves, honestly, because I just feel like strong like a bull whenever I do this. I've got to be honest with you, um, a few weeks ago, I was feeling like really worn out and really tired and I had messaged my coach, Don, at DIY Body. I said, listen, the five workouts per week was too much for me. And like with the amount of tennis that we were playing, it just felt like a lot. It felt like I wasn't recovering. I was really sore all the time. So he brought me down to three weight workouts per week. And on top of tennis, it's definitely been a little bit more manageable, but I also just don't feel as strong. I feel like there's such a gap 
in between all of my workouts that I haven't been used to for the last like year and a half. So I feel myself actually getting like really sluggish and like not feeling as on it. And I think that I actually prefer having more of the workouts. I just need to manage like my own recovery better. <laughs> I'm making sure that I'm getting my sleep and I'm actually stretching because when those things, like when it's all in a line, it's totally fine. But I actually feel like if we were talking about measurements of strength, I just feel the weakest that I felt in a really long time and it, and it felt like I was in such an upward trajectory with with the gains <laughs> and so I don't like it I don't like the three workouts a week I definitely require more to keep me in it and on it and feeling strong and ah. anyway <laughs> last set best set Being home and in routine, it just it just makes it so easy. It's so much easier to just like stay in the flow of everything, you know? But listen, I'm taking the adventures that life is bringing and I'm doing my best to be as consistent as I can, but I just, I know I can be better. I know I can be better. Anyway, uh, that is my upper body done. Quick little breezy upper body. Shoulders and back workout done, stunning. Now we gotta go to tennis. I can't beat Dan, guys. I can't be beaten. But I wanted to show you guys my my claw marks from my serve. Oh my god! I've tried to fix my serve. I've tried to not drag my foot, but I can't. And I need to show you guys my ASIC shoes at home. Oh my gosh! Hi, back home. So these are my ASICs. These are the gel resolutions. These, honestly, out of all of the shoes that I've had, these have lasted the longest. But like, I literally tore a hole straight through. Insane. Like, there's a little bit of wear on the left side, but that little drag, it's just see you later. And this one, like the, that whole flap is coming up. That's why I didn't wear them this morning. Here's Dan's wear, for example. He doesn't get like a hole. Anyway, also we're matching. Very cute. But uh, yeah, RIP to the tennis shoes. Hi, Mero. We made it to the bathroom, you guys. This is the best part of the morning because it's when my brain realizes that my workout is over and the hardest part of my day is done. It's a very blessed feeling, but this leads into the next part of um, kind of getting our life back together. And the biggest thing for me when I'm feeling low is I really let that reflect on my exterior and I stop. <laughs> washing my hair, I stop doing, I basically just stop the daily maintenance. That just goes south. So the workout's done. Now I need to wash myself and kind of just do a big 360 scrub of my life. And it's like my beautifying routine. And that in itself is gonna bring me back to life for the, the day and the week ahead. So I'm gonna do a full scrub of my body. We're gonna do my whole shave and I'm also gonna wash and do a nice big fresh blow dry on the hair. And this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Cult Beauty. I've been working with Cult Beauty for some time. I have a landing page with Cult Beauty that we're always updating with all of my favorite picks, my top beauty picks on the Cult Beauty website that you can use my code CBXALANA to shop if you wanted to save moolah on all of my favorites. It doesn't apply to every brand on the website, but on my landing page, you can shop all my favorites at a discount. And that's always there for your enjoyment if you wanted to pick up something new or if you wanted to restock on some of your favorites you can always use the code CBXLANA. And listen, I gathered some of my favorite like beauty maintenance pamper things here. And this is a pretty fine little collection if you ask me. It's a good roundup of all my favorite things. So I'm gonna start with a little mask. I'm gonna do a little Amika hair mask. I'm gonna wash my hair. And then something that I have been doing for a long time really, but that I really brought back to a focus in December when I filmed my little hair health video is the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. And I've been using this consistently and I feel like it's been making a difference but obviously the last week I've kind of lost my soul. My hair has been angry and we're definitely gonna do this. And it's kind of nice because it also just takes a step away. You wash your hair, you put it in, it's done. You don't have to think about it. And then a product that I actually bought off of Cult Beauty that I haven't had in so long and confirmed by Lev and Alina. This was out of stock for a very long time. It's the Fresh Sugar Lemon Body and Hand Wash. And this is one of the first body products I ever used from Fresh when Dan and I went on a fresh trip in New York. They had this in the room and the scent memory takes me back. This literally brings me back to that room. We were in a king suite at the Ludlow Hotel and this is, oh, we did a little photo shoot in the bathtub and this is the smell. 
this was that scent and it just brings both of us back. It's one of our favorite scents ever and Cult Beauty had this back in stock and I was so happy I bought two. <laughs> Using my own discount code, obviously. And once we're all scrubbed and shaved, I'm also gonna do my little tanning routine. The Saint Tropez Express Mousse is one of my favorite tanning products. It's the one that I most consistently use. This with the little mitt. You can also shop on Cult Beauty. So we're gonna put a layer of this on because it makes us feel alive. So thank you so much to Cult Beauty for sponsoring this portion of the video and my beautifying process. I'm going to link all the products I use as well as my landing page and all my discount code information in the description box down below for your viewing and or shopping pleasure. I have to be honest with you because I slept through my alarm a little bit this morning. I definitely didn't get up as early as I had intended to. So I definitely could have done this step and I normally would have had I been more with it when my alarm went off, but I would have put my hair mask in before I did my workout so that it could have been basking this entire time but just because I missed that step, I'm including this and we're gonna do it together. It's not gonna have as much soaking time, but I'm just gonna run it through the ends. And I've seen people chat about the fact that if you have really like dry or damaged hair, this can just help or by like putting a hair oil, if you put this in the ends when you go to wash your hair, I guess it just gives your hair that like extra layer of love before you wash it. And I'm saying that because this isn't the proper use of this hair mask. Like technically you should be putting it on washed hair and letting it soak properly like a hair mask, but I always just look at it like I'm just putting an extra little layer of moisture and love on. So I'm just running that through my ends. I should have done that this morning. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> That's the saying, right? Just clipping that up and getting it out of the way. And then I'm going to shave my face. I've got a fresh little cartridge on my razor. I'm going to take my Glow Recipe Avocado Cleanser, which you can also find on my Call Beauty landing page. <laughs> Scrub that onto my face. I'm also putting it on the forehead. Don't forget the forehead, which I am gonna use a different razor for, but we'll get to that in a sec. And let me tell you, if you are feeling down, if your skin and your face is feeling dull, give it a little shave and it's it's just amazing what it does for the skin. I feel like no matter what skincare I'm putting on, when I do a fresh little shave, there's just nothing that makes it look and feel so smooth and so glowy. It is the one thing that I've consistently been doing for many years now and it makes my face and it makes my skin feel so good. And you know there's those people who say that men have such fabulous glowing skin all the time because they shave their face and therefore they're just like constantly having that exfoliation and it's just so smooth. Like my skin, every time I do this, I'm like, wow, it feels so good and so smooth. Now I need to swap you to the mirror for this part because I mentioned that I've been shaving my forehead and I feel like it's been making such a difference in my eyebrows and I believe that to be true. I take a little face razor like this and I just have to do this so slowly and carefully for fear of absolutely shaving off my entire brow. But just shaving the top is something that I never really did before and it has been making all the difference in how like clean my eyebrows look, and I know that those of you who have like waxed your brows or have been threading your brows since the dawn of time, you're probably like, thank you. There's nothing new to see here. We've been doing this forever, uh, but I have not. I never used to touch my forehead or like all the peach fuzz above my brow. And it makes such a difference because there's nothing for like my brow gel to cling to on the top of my brow anymore. And I just feel like all together, like it just looks so much cleaner. It's made such a difference. So I have added this step into my face shaving routine and I do not trust myself to use my <laughs> regular razor for this, but when I use the smaller razor on my face, I just end up cutting myself a lot. It's just, it's just dangerous on all levels, you know? Be careful, proceed with caution. But now my face is shaved and now I'm gonna go in the tub and scrub a dub dub. Rub-a-dum-dum, we're getting naked in the tub. Now I am mentioning this portion of the bathtub because this is uh, another thing that I need to do with my routine maintenance because I'm a very, very sore gal and I need to be on it with the Epsom salt baths because it helps to soothe. Soothe and soothe those sore, sore muscles. But this is also gonna be an expedited version because I am filming this in the morning and that is not normally when this would occur. This would definitely normally be my evening routine. But for the sake of showing you the before and after for the tan, we are filming this during the day. So just know that this is not a regular occurrence for me and normally I'd be doing this before bed. But for the content, sacrifices must be made.
So the K18 is in my hair. I am scrubbed. I am looking pale. Here's a good little before. I'm not giving you the full body bathing suit visual, okay? This is this is what you're getting. You're getting the chesticles in full force. I'm going to soak my body in this lotion and then I'm gonna put the tan on. Some people don't use lotion before they put a tan on and I understand why, but I also understand that I am far too dry for that. There's no way that I can get out of a full scrub and not immediately put lotion on. So if you weren't doing this in a speedy fashion and you had more time, I would highly recommend letting your lotion like set a little bit before putting the tan on. But in my experience, both ways works. So do whatever works for you. <laughs> My friends, the tan is applied. Let the glowing process begin. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair. I'm gonna stay naked for a little while and I'll come back to you when it's time to, to rinse this baby off. <laughs> Hello! I wanted to update you. I'm sitting here basking in the tan. I just blow dried my hair and I wanted to show you guys, I mentioned this in a previous video that I had bought these giant, giant rollers. And the reason why I got these instead of just regular size rollers is because I, I wanted jumbo ones because I wanted it to be that like really nice, smooth, voluminous blowout. I don't necessarily want the curls because I don't know if anyone remembers. Can we just insert a photo here of my wedding hair? Armine gave me the best blowout of my life, the longest lasting best blowout of my life for my wedding day. And I didn't have any curl. Like, like my front pieces were just like really nicely smoothed and blown out and they stayed like that all day. Can I replicate what she did? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't have that mobility of my arms to do such a thing, but I thought maybe, maybe just having these like really jumbo hair rollers would help give me that look. Um, I think not, it's just giving dinosaur. <laughs> but we're trying it out. <laughs> We're trying it out. I think it's a little big. Maybe I could just use the big ones for like the top and then the sides. Like I just literally, I can't. I look like I'm getting ready to be cast for a part in Whoville. Like this is hysterical. Anyway, LOL. Um, I am gonna keep them in while I shower the tan off and also while I do my makeup, which will be the final step in our little glow up of the day to actually get ourselves ready for the day. And before I leave you, I also just wanted to mention my little brush. When you do a tan, listen, you guys know I don't do a perfect tan. I'm showing you my tanning routine, but I don't do a perfect tan. But the one thing that helps is using a brush, always for the hands and the feet. You have to sacrifice a brush. This brush will never be the same. The tan will never wash out of this, so it's just my tanning brush. But having a really soft little fluffy brush and using that to apply your tan to your hands and your feet just really, really helps. If you use a mitt on your hands, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> and other than that, I just slap it all over my body. So that's the only piece of wisdom I can impart on you is to make sure that you're using a brush for those finer little areas and details. And that's all from me, friends, on this fine day. <laughs> I skipped doing my makeup with you because you guys have seen this look a thousand times. It's my everyday makeup spring version and I have not changed my everyday makeup file since. The lip I'm wearing is actually Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Pencil and then I have the Prisma Glass 02, which is such a pretty soft, soft pink. And this is the hair with its like long, soft blowout, you know? There's no curls, which I love. It's just this like soft, smooth blowout, which is kind of the vibe that I wanted to go for. And it's easy. I don't have to think about it. It feels sleek and chic and done, you know? And once I have my makeup on, I just feel like I'm ready to take on the day. And I needed to do this so badly because right now I'm talking to you in my bra because I actually need to uh, shoot something. We're shooting some photos. We're doing a little, a little Fendi look. Ah! They sent over a little look with these funky pants, not keeping. I wish, honestly, these pants are sick. And I just need to um, put this together, put my jewels on, and then have a little shoot moment. And I'm thankful that we took the time to do a little glow up this morning because I just really needed to do that before I shoot anything. <laughs> before a shoot, before an event, before travel, you know, this is just kind of the routine that I need to do to get me feeling 100%. Can I pin this to my brow? Will that work? A little... Can you still hear me if I do this? <laughs> What shoes to wear with this? I'm gonna bring a few pairs down, but I don't know which ones I'm gonna go with. I just want it to be plain, because it's not Fendi, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So we got the fit, headed down to the studio, AKA the basement, LOL, and we shot some cute pics. Here's a little BTS of us on our little paper wall shooting some pics, and they're up on the ground if you wanted to check them out. And that's everything for my little beauty glow up routine. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.